Two people who say police attacked them for recording last week's incident at the Brickyard Mall plan to sue the officers. WGN's Julian Cruz has details. Uh, they were attacked. They were injured uh, emotionally and physically. We terrified. Willie Teague and loved one Lysandra Collins still shaken by last week's ordeal near the Brickyard Mall. A beating at the hands of Chicago police last month captured on cell phone video. As we're leaving and bumper to bumper traffic and the officers are yelling to go, get out of here. There's nowhere for me to go. I'm getting hit for no reason by a person I think is supposed to protect me, but they're hitting me. And now every time I come out and I see the police and I know they're supposed to be there to protect me, I'm afraid. It all started when Chicago police arrested Tanika Tate and family in a dramatic fashion, mistakenly believing they had a connection to a looting at the mall. Collins' loved ones picking her up from work, spotting the commotion in the parking lot, and that's when they started videotaping. That's when he struck her. She didn't even see it. She was backing up recording. He struck her from the front hard, full force with his baton, trying to dislocate her phone from her hand. He struck her in her hand several times. Walker says a formal complaint has been filed with COPA, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, and the Cook County State's Attorney is looking into whether or not any criminal charges are warranted. The complaint points to the suspicion that at least some of the police at the Brickyard incident deliberately covered their police badge number and nameplate with a black ribbon. The people that she looked to to protect and serve were the ones who were the offenders against her when she was doing nothing wrong. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot and Police Superintendent David Brown at a press conference last week already moving ahead with disciplinary measures. On the recommendation of COPA investigators, two Chicago police officers have been relieved of their police powers by Superintendent David Brown. But last week, Mayor Lori Lightfoot making it clear that the actions of police supervisors are also being scrutinized. On the near west side, Julian Cruz, WGN News.